Hello, I'm Bob. I do these GeoGuessr videos about once a day. Um, taking a little break from my stuff I don't want to do as much as play GeoGuessr to play GeoGuessr. Figure out where I am in the world. Let's just do my just good old diverse world with a five minute timer on each round. This will be lots of variety and go. Might be in some non-city areas, though. Hair by the sea, English language. Looks like a uh, U.S. or Canada-style phone number. Um, uh-huh. Something tells me, even though you've got Himalayan stuff, this isn't the Himalayas. Uh, we are by the sea, that's for sure. Ain't no Himalayas by a sea. Um, ooh, look at that tall tower at that churchy place where is this wow okay uh julie trembly.com hello seems like just seems like sort of a i don't know like a new england or nova scotia village uh right that kind of place maybe a little touristy and maybe that's okay maybe i would also be a tourist here um look at this very narrow road here um Huh. Feel like I'm just on a little stroll in some town. I stopped that. Oh, you're kind of uh you're kind of a little mystical around here, aren't you? Ooh, okay, what about you? Oh, Cape Cod. Did that say Cape Cod? Uh-huh. It did, didn't it? One of those signs that I now I can't find anymore said Cape Cod. We're in Cape Cod. It's 127 degrees. Uh, I don't know. I think we're in Cape Cod. I, no, now it's all blurry. Blah, blah. Um, oh, maybe we're in the Netherlands. No, we're not in the Netherlands. I think we're in Cape Cod. I have never been to Cape Cod, but I know that this is what it's like. Uh, what do you have to say? You're talking about keep right. You don't drive on the left. You're not England. Uh, Provincetown Lions Club is Provincetown on late on Cape Cod. So Cape Cod is Massachusetts. This is Cape Cod. Here's Provincetown. <laughs> Did we find it? Are we already there? Boom. Okay, where's the mystical arts place? Maybe that's all, all I really need. Um, uh, let's look around a little more. So, like, this is toward the, the water. Uh, Macmillan Pier. I think I'll see Macmillan Pier. Yeah, there's Macmillan Pier. So, this is the entrance to Macmillan Pier. Uh... Were we on this street? Were we just on this street? Hmm? Or was it this street? No, I think we were on the narrow one. I'm going to click. I'm going to guess now. <laughs> it was a block away, 82 meters. Uh, yeah, Provincetown looks like is the main town on the tip of Cape Cod. Uh, seems, like a, seems like a cool place to check out sometime. All right, let's go to the next round. Um, that one was pretty easy. Got to say, that one was pretty easy. Uh, and I could have worked and found the exact spot, probably. Okay. Uh, okay. This is uh, maybe Spanish, probably Spanish, but maybe Italian language place. Uh-huh. Uh, what do you have to say? Pega mais rapido. Use com o mesmo traço do CP. Or maybe that's Portuguese. Uh, cause do and cause of the sedil under the C there. Um, and that H, the NH structure. I think this is Portuguese language. Um, uh, cameras e alarmes. It's E, not E. You guys, this is Portuguese. I gotcha. I gotcha. So are we in Brazil, the biggest Portuguese speaking country on the planet? Or are we in another one like Portugal? Um, Looks a lot more Latin American than European. That's for sure. Uh, that's how it looks. I'm just saying that's how it looks. So when you know it's Brazil, the problem is, oh my God, Brazil is huge. Where in Brazil? Brasao. Um, sometimes the nice thing about Brazil is if you figure out the state, it's very easy to on Google Maps this thing. You can see the states very easily. 
Um, so that's nice. So maybe I'll find the state and that'll help us narrow it down. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. And again, I'm just assuming it's Brazil because definitely Portuguese and really Latin American looking and not Portugal. Um, but now I'm looking for clues about the state or the city. Sometimes these things are like best burgers in Tocantins or something. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, uh-huh. What about, uh, is there anything about where we are? Uh, do you think anything there is about where we are? Are any of those like where we are like that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's the dot BR in case you're still not sure we're in Brazil, but we totally are. I'm trying to just look at this and see if anything looks like it's a place, like a city or a state. And I give up. Um, we have got two and a half minutes left. Um, let's just go over here. Let's just keep going for a while and just see if a totally different part has totally different information. Um, it seems like a, I don't know, it seems like kind of a cool like size of a city just from where I am. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a got lots of stuff going on, plenty of stuff to do, but it doesn't seem overcrowded. It's kind of nice little, little roads with trees and stuff. Um, but we're not here to judge it as a place to be or live. We're here to decide where we think it is. And I'm just looking at signs cause we're not going to see like highways or anything. Uh, only got a minute and a half left. What do I have to go on besides it's definitely Brazil? Uh, what is that word or words? Uh, okay, you're a school about Jesus. Gotcha. Um, uh-huh. Ooh, there's some sign stuff. What about those signs? What about the signs? Those signs, there's blue. Blue sign, okay. Hospital Bom Sama, Sama okay. Sama that sounds like it's this. Uh, okay, wait, go away for a second. Samaritano, Samaritano. Do you think we're in Bom Samaritano? Or just Samaritano? Bom is not part of the name. I think I'll find Samaritano. Seems like it's not as big as like, you know, the big cities of Brazil. Samaritano, we've got 43 seconds. Hmm, you guys, am I missing it? Are you seeing it? I know that happens a lot. I know that it happens a lot. Um, hmm. Are we in about this size of a place? I don't know. It's about all I got. Um, 19 seconds. Can I get any better than that? I just, <laughs> honestly, I just clicked a city. I don't know. That seems like it's about the right size. Huh? I'm just going to guess. No, I was not close. 810 kilometers. I just guessed sort of near Sao Paulo, and it was this place. Teofilo Otoni. There was no that bom samaritano anything. Uh, yeah, I would have maybe figured out this 342 and gotten there that way, but didn't have time. So, not as well as the Cape Cod one, huh? All right, where are we for round three? We are on a dirt road near some very nice houses. Your houses are way nicer than your road, I must say. Uh, hi, uh, can you tell me what country we're in? Just tell me the country. No, okay, fine. Where are we? Um, what does it feel like? Uh, it feels like Europe is what it feels like. Uh, does it feel like... Eastern Europe, maybe, but maybe not a part an Eastern European country that's been a shithole for a lot of time. Um, maybe Poland. Okay, what's that? Oh, I think Poland was a good guess. That looks like a Polish. Uh, that looks like a Polish name. I bet we're in Poland, you guys. Uh, should we keep going this way? You know, Poland is big, and I bet there are lots of cool places to visit in Poland. Um, that's the European Union. So I was right about that. Looks like Polish, but where in Poland? Is one of those things a word for where we are? 
I don't know. I don't know Poland too well. Uh, I don't know, really don't know it at all. I mean, I can name a couple cities in Poland, as can most of us. Um, so how am I going to get better intel? And it looks like we're not getting closer to like a place that'll help. So maybe I should go the other direction, huh? I wish you would have talked to me, lady. I went the wrong, wrong direction. Okay. We're going to try this way. So yeah, my reasoning of <laughs> it's got a European look, but the dirt road made me think more likely Eastern Europe, but the nice houses made me think, um, you know, not as just battered as, uh, you know, some of the former Yugoslav or just poorer, the more poor places of Eastern Europe. Uh, do you think any of that tells me where we are in Poland? Poland is so big. <laughs> um, Poland is just too big for me to know from that. Uh, unless there's just, I can really know these words and then look on the map for them, but that's just not going to work. Um, are you talking about what part of Poland we're in? You're not. Uh, the road is getting a little more paved though. Maybe we're heading to town this way. Maybe it'll say, welcome to the town of such and such in the province of such and such, which is in the, this quadrant of Poland. Uh, I can't read that. Um, Okay, come on. Come on. See, Poland is pretty, you guys. See, you might end up in Poland sometime. And just the name Poland makes it sound like it's cold because it's like polar. But no, it's same as Germany. Um, it's less polar than Scandinavian countries, all of them. Okay, I'm not getting any more intel. Uh... I'm just not close enough to useful. Look at these nice places, though. They've just got some nice places around here. Look, and they're building their own new nice place. Um, I saw blue and thought, ooh, a sign, but no, it was just a blue minivan. Um, hi, I like your neighborhood. I like your community. I got to go, though. I only can be here for another minute and 19 seconds. Um. Yeah, this isn't getting me closer to any information I can use. Um, I've got a minute left and it's just this type of street. Oh, you got your bicycle and you're like, I'm riding towards the, the stuff I got to do. Yeah, that's what you are about. Oh, here's the bus stop that's like, oh, I need to take the bus to the bigger town where I have my office job. Okay, um... I only got 43 seconds and this is all I'm getting. Just this long sort of provincial road here, right? Oh, it's a little better here. What are you? What are you? Uh, are you a word about where we are? Are you? Am I going to spot that word? I'm really not, am I? I only have 20 seconds left. I just got to leave it there probably. All right, I'm just guessing. Well... Okay, <laughs> Poland is so big that making a stab in Poland doesn't get you that close. 263 kilometers is how close I was. Look, it was just kind of around here. Oh, there was that nice lake. And look, it's just this community, right? But how was I going to, you know, if I had time, I would have made it to Kozalin, which I haven't heard of. But wow, look at that. I bet it would be neat to look around there. But no, didn't do that well. So next round. Okay. Okay, these are nice homes, sort of suburby, very uh, cookie cutter though. Got to tell you, sign like that looks not American. Um, do you think? Uh, well, I don't know. Sure is a sunny day here, and the sun is in the south. We're not in the southern hemisphere. Oh, look at that. That is the flag of, okay, there are a few flags that look like that. I need a better look. Which one is that? Is it the United Arab Emirates? I think that is the flag of the United Arab Emirates. I think we're in the United Arab Emirates, you guys. Um, the Kuwait flag looks a little like that. And then like Jordan and Palestine and stuff. 
Um, I think we're, look at this. We're totally, these are all like recently, this is a re new development, like everything in the United Arab Emirates, a new development and very cookie cutter. That's where we are. We're in the UAE. Check out the Arabic here. District, Arabic, street, Arabic, okay. This, but district of what? Is that the name of a town? Nakheel? I don't know. I have Arab Emirates is over here. I mean, we're probably around here, right? I don't know. Let's look around a little more. We got a few minutes. Let's go out here. Seems like maybe you talk about other places. Look it. It's so clean here. Look, and you've got two roads for each road. Um, seriously, why are there th like three roads? Um, <laughs> I don't know, but this is a very handsome new development. Got us a roundabout. Does the roundabout talk about where the different sp like spires go? The different spokes? It doesn't. It really doesn't. But maybe this is interesting. So Knock Hill is that? It seems like that's more like, oh, Jumeirah, Jumeirah Park. So you see that word like here. Jumeirah Beach. I don't know what it means. It's just a name of lots of things in Dubai. Look, this is Jumeirah 3. Do you think I'll spot Jumeirah Park? Um, Burj Al Arab. That's the really cool looking big hotel that looks like a sailboat. Um, Jumeirah Park. Like we're around here. We're clearly around here somewhere. But District 8. Ooh, are you going to... I see you let numbers like that. Should I look for an 8? I got two minutes left. Should I just look for an 8? Look at Jum oh, Jumeirah Park. Here we go. There we go. There we go. We are zeroing in, aren't we? Okay, so is there an eight around here? Does this talk about like number eight area? Or is that a little uh, little two in the weeds for Google Maps here? But we're right around there where I just clicked, aren't we? Like maybe that's exactly where we are. Is it going to say B12 Street over here? Over one of these? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is this B12 Street? How would I know? How would I know? Huh? Because, I mean, I got a minute and a half. I could get close. I don't usually bother getting too close. I'm just just a little humble that way. You know, what can I say? I'm so humble. Um, but if this little guy, okay, where do we come out here? We're going west-ish. And then we come to this just you know, big old, maybe that's this. What about that sign? Let's see what's on that sign. Uh, this sign is all about how, got a minute left, Mohammed bin Syed, I've, <laughs> I've driven on that. Uh, I'm not kidding, because uh, I rented a car and drove around this area for a day. Uh, but anyway, so did we kind of come out here? Is that what we did? Uh, and were we here? Where's the roundabout we were? Oh, now I'm. Oh, it doesn't feel like where we were. Were we here? Where's the roundabout? Is this the roundabout? I don't know. Oh, I only have 20 seconds left. Um, I'm just gonna click here. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. I did. I did all right. Uh, it was a kilometer away. Obviously, I found the right neighborhood, but down here is where we were. Um, yeah, just all of this, just. 20 years ago was nothing, right? Um, and these are all just new developments. Look at this. They just, all these man-made land masses out here. All these are man-made. You can, rich people own them and there's like one for each country or something. Uh, okay, next round. We are on round five. This is the last one. Uh, I did crappy in a couple of them, so I hope I do okay on this one. Um, where are we? Damn fine view, I must say. Um, but it could be lots of places. <laughs> um, probably not the Arabian Peninsula, though. Uh, that was round four. We have left that behind. And now we're in green, mountainous area. It looks like, I don't know, Colombia, maybe. Do you think we're in Colombia? We could be, but all I have is we're on a on a mountain road. That's all I've got. 
You know, where's the sun? The sun is that way and that is south kind of, but it's high enough in the sky that I can be fooled. Um, but my guess right now is the Northern Hemisphere. And honestly, my guess is Columbia because Columbia has uh, very picturesque mount, winding mountain roads like this. I've never been to Columbia, though. Um, uh, come on, man. You're not giving me anything. How am I supposed to? I, I didn't I tell you about my time limit. It's just going to be like this if I keep going this way, isn't it? But I want to keep going this way because look how pretty. Let's try going the other direction. Fine. We're going to try going the other direction. Although I don't remember which direction we went the first time. Okay. We're going to try going in this direction. Maybe there's stuff over here. Um, like if I don't get anything else, <laughs> like not even language cues or anything. I'm going to click somewhere in mountainous Columbia. But seriously, I'm not going by much. Come on, man. Give me at least some sign that says words. So, oh, like that. Okay. No dejar basura. Gracias. De nada. I will not deposit garbage there. Okay, Spanish speaking. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, it's pretty here. Um, I had a work friend who's Colombian, and one thing I remember she told me was, in Colombia, people, you know, there's some, you know, big cities in Colombia, a bunch of them spread out around the country. Um, and most people don't, uh, do much traveling between them. If you're Colombian, you mostly stay in your like metro area. Whoa, whoa, we came to a dead end. Ah, that sucks. Um, so it's all I'm saying is Colombians don't do much intercity travel. So maybe that affects what their roads are like. I don't know. Um, uh, talking to her about Colombia really makes me want to go to Colombia, though. Um, Colombia seems neat. You guys, I'm not going to. I'm. This sucks. Uh, I'm not going to get anything else, am I? No. Other than it being rather fetching. Uh, this is new, but not better. Um. What's down here? Do you say where you are? Do you say a city? Do you say a country? Sema. What is that? I don't know. Is that an animal that is in this country that I, know, I should know and don't? Uh, oh, it's pretty here though. Don't you think it's rather nice looking here? Wouldn't this be a nice drive to be on? Don't you miss travel? Don't you wish the American passport hadn't been severely devalued? <laughs> uh, I sure do. Um, we're running out of time and I'm not getting any more information from this place other than I like it. Uh, I have affection for it, but my affection surprisingly doesn't appear on Google Maps. Um, Hmm. All right. We got to start looking at where on the map I'm going to put us and it's going to be like, you know, here, right? For windy roads around here, something like that, you know, seven seconds. Do I got to just click here? I got to click here. I got to click here. Oh, we were not, we were not in Colombia. <laughs> We were not in South America. We were in Spain. We are in this chunk of Spain that I know nothing about. Um, how would I have known? I mean, I mean, look at we were just just on this, and then we came to this dead end. I had, you know, I had no honestly no hope of ever, like even if I had a no time limit. I guess if I had no time limit, I would have eventually, if I had no time limit and the patience. <laughs> I maybe, maybe, and this is just a maze. Look at this maze. 
you know, I would have looked around if I had managed to get to one of these major roads, I then I would have, you know, and maybe one of them has a sign for Ponferrada, Ferrada, but <laughs> that was hopeless. That was a hopeless, the only good out of that is that it was rather pretty. Um, and now I know this part of Spain is pretty. So how did I do? Oh, 17,643. Ah. Oh. I am a little ashamed of myself. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Look. But what did I have to go on, really? Honestly. Can you blame me? Why are you blaming me? I don't know, but thank you for watching. Today has been August 31st, 2020, and I'm ending the video.